venous cannulas are devices which allow the insertion of a plastic catheter into the patient's vein. They provide ready intravenous access for the administration of intravenous fluids, medications or blood products. As venous cannulation is one of the most basic and commonly performed hospital-based procedures, it's important that medical students and junior doctors have a good understanding of the devices and how to safely use them. As you can see, venous cannulas consist of a needle with a catheter mounted around it. So once the tip of the needle has punctured the vein, the end of the catheter is gently progressed over the needle to lie securely within the vein. As well as the needle and catheter, the cannula also consists of the wings and the hub, which along with the grip can be used to help stabilize the device during insertion. After the cannula has been inserted, the wings and the hub rest upon the surface of the skin. And after being secured with adhesive dressings, they provide a means of accessing the cannula. Another component of the cannula is the flashback chamber, in which blood appears to indicate that we have successfully punctured the vein, and therefore are safe to progress the catheter. And the last part of the cannula we need to mention is the needle safety cover, which as we remove the needle, becomes detached from the device to securely cover the needle, thus preventing any needle stick injuries from occurring before we can discard it into the sharp spin. Cannulas come in various sizes, with differing cannula lengths and lumen diameters. The sizes range from the very small 26 and 24 gauge cannulas, which are typically used in pediatric cases, to the largest adult cannula, which is the 14 gauge. As you can see, the different sizes of cannulas are easy to distinguish because they are different colours. If a venous cannula is being used for routine or non-emergency reasons, then using a smaller device, such as a blue 22 gauge or a pink 20 gauge cannula, would be sufficient. However, in an emergency, for example if someone was hemorrhaging or needing rapid intravenous volume replacement, then we should be inserting a larger grey or orange cannula into a more proximal vein, such as that in the antecubital fossa. The greater diameter lumens of these larger size cannulas allow for faster intravenous delivery of fluid and thus a more rapid resuscitation. If you enjoyed watching this video, then make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great free content. Or, if you want to make sure you know what you need to know for med school, then subscribe to surgicalteaching.com for more great videos, learning forums and MCQs.